All right, now, information security. Information security is more than just digital information, right? Information can be spoken information, it can be written information. So we also have to consider that all of these ideas that we focus on technology, we still need good foundational principles in place, and we need to make sure that we're protecting verbal communications and written communications to the same degree. Right? So all those means in which we can generate, share, and store information fall under our management as a CISM. We have to keep that in, um, in perspective because so many times we think about information security, technical, technical, technical. But we have to make sure that we put the policies and procedures and standards and guidelines in place for information in all of its various forms. Now, the problem, though, sometimes with information security is it's not profitable. And that's just the way it is. I don't make one penny off of information security. It's not like I create a fabulous information security policy and then get to sell tickets for some for people to come by and read it, right? There's nothing about information security that generates a profit. Now, what it should do is prevent loss, it should provide me a good positive return on investment, right? But many times to put money out and not see that direct return, that's difficult for senior managers, right? And everything that we do as SISMs has to be supported by the governing bodies of our organization, the senior management, the executive officers, the chief financial officers, and, and so on. So sometimes what's necessary is for those of us who are security professionals to get the support that we need, sometimes we have to sell information security, right? And the difficulty becomes the fact that many of us that are in the technology field, information security field, specifically from a technical background, we tend to know a lot of acronyms. And we tend to know a lot of very technical ideas and a lot of very um, technical concepts. We like to talk in letters. We like to sound smart. I know I certainly do. Um, so that doesn't sell, right? I can't walk into a senior manager's office and start, you know, talking about the benefits of a Juniper firewall over a Cisco ASA versus a this versus a that with I'll lose my audience. So I think it's a very valuable question that could even be, you know, testable, but just something for us to know is that if we want to impact the security of our organization positively, we have to be able to talk to the technicians and we have to be able to talk to senior managers. So when we need more support, whether that's funding, whether that's resources, whatever we need allocated to our program, if we're not getting it, we need to be able to sit down and have a face-to-face -face discussion with senior management that revolves around the business. How does information security help the business? How does that help customers? Um, to trust our organization? How does that help our name recognition? How does that help our standing in the market? How does it, um, how does it translate to dollar savings? You know, let's go out and let's look at all of these breaches by all the organizations. A major hotel chain just recently had a compromise and they had a loss of over 500 million customer accounts and uh, the release information on that has been that the compromise has been going on since the year 2014. Well, right now it's December of 2018. That seems like a very long time for that loss to have been happening across, right? So now it's up to that organization to rise to the occasion and rectify what they can and salvage what they can, but how does that affect that organization's rep uh, uh, reputation in the field? Sometimes that's really hard to quantify, right? It's hard to say, well, they've suffered a $500,000 loss because of reputation. But the idea is, these are the things that senior management needs to understand, is that a breach like this, you have your initial loss, right? You may have fines, you may have lawsuits, you may have all of those things, you may lose intellectual property. There's a whole lot that can be lost, right? But the gift that keeps on giving is loss to reputation. That's much harder to come back from than loss of money. 
organization loses $5 million, many organizations don't even blink at that. But an organization takes a reputational hit, that company can be over, right? That, that can be end of business, depending on the line of work for the organization, the amount of competitors, bad press can be a death knell for some organizations. So the bottom line is we have to be able to talk about cost versus benefit. We have to be able to talk about return on investment. We have to go in there and support our need for security, but not because we're cybersecurity geeks and we want to spend a lot of money on the newest, hottest firewall, but because we understand that protect the business, that for the business to reach their objectives, they need IT. And here is how the information technology and then, of course, the information security is going to help the business as a whole meet their goals down the line. That's the way we have to operate within the information security, within the SISM world, if you will. We've got to provide, we've got to understand the technical threats, but when it comes to sitting down with senior management, we've got to talk about the business.